a book. It's a prose poem called Prose in a Small Space. It's supposed to be prose if it runs on and on, isn't it? All those words, too many to fall into rank and file, stumbling bare ass drunk onto the field reporting for duty, yes sir, spilling out as shamelessly as the glut from a mega billion dollar chemical facility, just the amount of glittering effluvium it takes to transport a little girl across a room. Beige carpet thick under her oxfords, curtains blousy with spring. Is that the scent of daffodils drifting in? Daffodils don't smell, but prose doesn't care. Prose likes to hear itself talk. Prose is development and denouement, anticipation hovering near the canopies, lust rampant in the antipasta, for example. A silver fork fingered sadly as the heroine crumples a linen napkin in her lap to keep from crying out at the sight of Lord Campion's regal brow inclined tenderly toward the wealthy young widow. Prose applauds such syntactical dalliances. Then is it poetry if it's confined? Trembling along its axis, a flagpole come alive in high wind, flapping its radiant sleeve for attention. Over here, it's me, while the white spaces, air, field, early morning silence before the school bell, shape themselves around that one bright seizure. And if that's so, what do we have here? A dream or three paragraphs? We have white space too. Is this music? As for all the words left out, banging at the gates, we could let them in, but where would we go then with our orders, our stuttering pride? Thank you.